So, Lisa, what did you find most interesting about this module? Um, most interesting? Mm -hmm. um, definitely the fact there were no boundaries to whatever we did. We could have done absolutely anything. There was no, well, you can't do this, you can't do that. We could perform any, basically any way we wanted to, explore any themes that we wanted to, mm -hmm. and we've just never been given that opportunity before. Well, I haven't personally, so for me it was... Quite refreshing. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you had more time, is there anything that you would improve? If so, what would it be? My movement. Right. Definitely. Um, if I had more time, I'd definitely spend more time in the dance studios with the mirrors so I can actually see the way that my body moves because it's really hard to see when you, when you can't see it, apart from the videos which don't always portray it. Mm -hmm. But like have a true reflection. Yeah. Um, what do you think, what, no, who do you think was our intended audience? And um, what do you think their, the interpretations and the meanings of our piece was? Well, I'd like to think our intended audience were young women, or even older women actually, um, just to see you know, how dominant we were and or how easily led we are. But I'd also, I'd also like to think it would go out to men as well, so that mm -hmm. they could see, like, we are dominant, and, you know, girl power and all that. But, um, Burning your bras. <laughs> yeah, I don't, definitely not children, 100% not children, No. Um, because of the content, and I don't think it would really go out to many elderly people, because of the themes explored, it'd be quite taboo for them, so it's taboo for anybody, I guess. Excellent. Well, thank you, Lisa, for your interview. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers.